What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. During pregnancy, the developing baby moves into several different positions. As labor approaches, some positions are safer than others. The ideal position for a fetus just before labor is the anterior position. In this position, the fetus's head points toward the ground and they are facing the woman's back. The anterior position may reduce the chances of complications during pregnancy. Learn more about this and other fetal positions in the womb in this video. 1. Anterior Position The best position for the fetus to be in before childbirth is the anterior position. The majority of fetuses get into this position before labor begins. This position means the fetus's head is down in the pelvis, facing the woman's back. The fetus's back will be facing the woman's belly. A doctor or midwife may describe a fetus that lies slightly to the left as left occiput anterior or loa, and one that lies slightly to the right as right occiput anterior or roa. 2. Posterior Position This position is also known as the back-to-back -back position. The baby's head is pointing down and their back is resting against their mother's back. Unlike the anterior position, it is difficult for babies in this position to tuck their head in and pass through the smallest part of the pelvis. This can cause labor to become longer and slower than if the baby were in the anterior position, even causing the mother's back to hurt. This position can be caused by the mother spending a long time sitting or lying down. Similarly, a mother can encourage her child to roll into the desired position by leaning in the direction they want them to move in. 3. Transverse Lie Position A transverse lie position is when the fetus is lying horizontally in the uterus. Most fetuses will not remain in this position in the weeks and days leading up to labor. If a fetus is still in the transverse lie position just before birth, a cesarean delivery will be necessary. Without a cesarean delivery, there is a risk of a medical emergency known as an umbilical cord prolapse. When an umbilical cord prolapse occurs, the woman delivers the umbilical cord in the birth canal before the baby. 4. Breach Position A baby will move into many different positions throughout pregnancy. During the last few weeks of pregnancy, most babies move into an anterior position, which is the best position for vaginal birth. If a baby is still in a transverse lie or breech position just before labor, a doctor or midwife will make medical interventions to ensure the safety of the woman and baby during childbirth. How to change positions Most fetuses turn into the head down position by 36 weeks. If a fetus is in a breech position at 36 weeks, a doctor or midwife may suggest an external cephalic version, ECV. Most fetuses turn into the head down position by 36 weeks. If a fetus is in a breech position at 36 weeks, a doctor or midwife may suggest an external cephalic version, ECV. An ECV is a procedure where a doctor or midwife will try to turn the fetus manually. The 2005 study claimed that there was little evidence that women changed their baby's position by exercising on their hands and knees. However, the exercise did ease the mother's back pain. Even simple things like walking for half an hour, regularly swimming, or sitting on a medicine ball instead of a chair can help women carry the extra weight and keep themselves healthy. If a person does wish to try these medicines or techniques, it is vital to consult a doctor first. God, please bless our mothers, they give life and they give love to every happy child. You grant them from above. Their lot is not an easy one. They must be patient, wise and kind, and they must often do without and never seem to mind. God, bless and keep our mothers. Amen.